going on guys uh, mini call here coming at you with a another video um, this one is going to be in regards to Ultima 6.4 and beyond just kind of how um, on my baby account I am still managing to get uh, really high numbers um, kind of a combination of a couple things so in the 6.3 raid I did manage to get um, the rank 1 rewards, and in this first 6.4 rewards, um, I was able to get rank 3. And while my actual collection power isn't all that high, and even my team isn't that high, um, I'm still managing these numbers just because of the nature of the actual team. So looking at it, I have taken in a modified symbiote team, I am still missing Symbiote Spider-Man, so I have temporarily subbed him in with Captain Marvel. The longer game plan is I will probably replace Captain Marvel with actually Emma Frost, um, but I am still currently gearing her up, so once she has a higher collection power than Marvel is when I will sub her in. Anyway, so kind of the thought behind this is, as I've said in other videos, the Symbiote team is just literally scopely designed them to be a raid team and they work and function perfectly just like that i'm going to go into a couple nodes and just kind of show you guys why this team works so well and even at 187k you know which is not super high um they are able to just walk through so many nodes now six point you know four through five you can kind of get away with any more or less high-powered team that does have some sustainability. However, as we are making these progressions, um, we are progressing pretty quickly. And by the time we get to um, Ultima 7, just random teams are not really going to make the cut. You are going to need specialized teams. And I believe everyone was able to unlock um, Anti-Venom as well as Scream. You know, I get it that um, Symbiote Spider-Man isn't the easiest to get, especially considering that he is dependent on those milestones, and a lot of that is just kind of dumb luck. But, um, you know, in the interim, everyone does have, you know... I believe everyone has either Captain Marvel or at least Emma Frost, um, you know, to really get this team going. So kind of my strategy with this team as I am using them, um, you know, basically as characters get into the red, it's really when this team starts picking up speed. So typically what I will do is I will take a character to red and then I just basically move on to the next character and what that's going to do is you know once Carnage is at least at level 64 one of the first things you want to do is upgrade his passive and that's really going to get this team to start moving. Once this team does start moving they are pretty much unstoppable um, so you'll see here I have this Kree Reaper she is at red she is dotted you know, high up, so there's really no reason to attack her anymore. Um, I'll move on to my next target and then just kind of keep the fight going. So while I am doing these fights, um, the way I kind of like to target things, any enemy that is really going to debuff your team, you are going to want to try to take out sooner rather than later, and that'll, you know, stop your team from getting debuffed. Now, obviously, with this team moving so quickly, um, you don't have to worry about debuffs as much. Um, you know, they will pretty much clear them pretty quickly. And, you know, the other important thing, too, is you do want to start saving abilities as you get towards the end of a raid fight. So, you know, while I have all of these ab abilities available, I'm not going to use them because I know I'm getting ready to go into another node, and I want to save those for the next fight. So when you start getting to the point where, you know, there's only five or four enemies, start saving those ultimates, those passives, um, or not passives, rather, um, ultimates and specials. The only exception to that would be, you know, with Anti-Venom, if your team is pretty low and his special is available to heal, you know, just go in and heal just to keep your team topped off. You know, you don't want to ever really kind of go into a fight with um, your team nearly dead. That really kind of just gives you some bad odds and even just bad luck if you don't happen to go first. But so as we are going in, um, you know, like I said, I am looking for enemies that debuff and those are the ones I'm normally targeting first. 
if there is no enemy that debuffs, um, you know, I kind of just I'll go after maybe a healer next. Um, there's really not any big priority with that. Um, now you'll see here, you know, especially with Anti Venom, um, there are no positive or negative debuffs I can flip. So I'm just going to go ahead and get immunity on everyone, um, just in case. I'll now then go in, I'll ability block Luke Cage. That way I can now, on Anti Venom's next turn, he will add that, um, he'll flip that ability block into a positive for us, which, okay, we weren't able to do that. But again, no big problem. Um, so again, this team, you know, even though they are lower powered, they are just, the way Scopely designed them, they are literally made to just handle raids. And essentially this team can, you know, take out U7.5, which is currently the hardest raid difficulty in the game. So, you know, getting through Ultimus 6 in any incarnation is, you know, still really easy for them, um, you know, as you're seeing. And the thing that I like um, both about Captain Marvel and Emma Frost is both of those characters do have the ability to self-heal. Um, so, you know, while they may not get any... Um, some of the positive effects from the symbiote healing, um, they are able to heal themselves. Um, so they don't necessarily get some of the passive heals that the symbiotes do, um, but, you know, they do get other variations of healing. So you'll see here, um, you know, I've kind of walked through these first two nodes. Um, in Ultimus uh, raids, the non-boss nodes are obviously always the easier one. Um, so I will go into a boss node just to kind of um, show the full effect. And really, I haven't run into any issues with this team so far. Um, you know, I think I made it all the way up to the um, final boss node just prior to Ultimus, um, before my team finally wiped. And, I mean, that's pretty solid considering, you know, how low their collection power is and how high of a raid difficulty they're going against. With that being said, um, you know, I honestly think probably at the very latest in the next month, we will probably be nearing Ultima 7. And I would highly encourage people to start working on a specialized team. The thing I like about the symbiotes, um, aside from just how well they function as a team, is that they are easily attainable for everyone. Um, like I said, I believe everyone did unlock um, Anti-Venom as well as Scream. So you basically have the foundation for the team right there. And then from there, it's really just, I mean, as they get geared up a little higher, they're just going to start getting stronger. I have taken um, most of this team to ISO 8 level 5, and I am currently working on that. Um, you know, like I've said in other videos, um, I didn't want to invest in a team that I wasn't sure I would be using long term. And, you know, people say, oh, don't chase the meta, you know, it's a waste of time, etc. And for the most part, I do agree with that with new accounts. However, um, you know, this team is certainly meta, um, as, you know, they're very strong in war uh, offense and all that stuff, but even though this team is meta now, um, even if three months down the road they come out with a, another raid team, um, you know, kind of that old um, adage, if it's not broke, don't fix it, you know, why would you not invest in a team that can get you to end game content and literally get you to the highest raid difficulty in the game? instead of, you know, waiting for something that might appear in several months. Um, to me, that seems a little impractical. And, um, you know, I just did finish Dark Dimension 3 on my main account, and the symbiotes um, that I did take in, I only had three of them at the time. Um, I took in Carnage, um, Symbiote Spider-Man, and uh, Venom. And, I mean, I can't overstate um, or overstress, rather, how crucial just those three characters were. Um, I was able to do all four city nodes in Dark Dimension 3 with just those three characters. 
So you're really not wasting any resources. Um, so now looking here, this boss node, um, they're saying the entire boss team is 480k. Um, you're looking all these characters, 41k, um, the weakest being 36k, which is, I believe, stronger than even all of my symbiotes. Um, yeah, so I mean, looking at that, I actually don't have a single character that is actually above the power level of the highest member of this team. And you're still going to see that this team is able to clear this boss node. And, you know, this is why this team is just so important, so powerful. And, you know, anyone that has anti-venom, carnage, venom, and scream and is not working towards them, I think you're honestly doing yourself a huge big disservice as, I mean, it is, I mean, literally, it is the perfect team for raiding. And, I mean, why would you not want to make things a little easier for yourself? Um, you know, I'm all about working, you know, smarter, not necessarily harder. And if there is already a team in the game that is literally built to raid, you know, why not work on them? Um, that's just kind of my thoughts on the matter. So we're going to finish off this boss node. Um, I'm going to kind of wrap up the video um, after I finish this node. Um, you'll see throughout this, um, in these four fights that I've done, they've quickly and easily been able to um, finish nodes. Again, um, very little damage taken. Um, any damage they do take, they are able to quickly heal back up. Um, and that's just, again, why this makes such a good raid team is, you know, especially in Ultimus um, 7, you really do need a team that not only can do a large amount of damage, but is also going to be able to heal itself. Um, you know, you don't want to be using those raid heals. Um, you know, it is a limited resource, and they do, you know, as you're depleting them, they're hard to get back. And, you know, that's essentially not sustainable long term. You want to be able to run your raids without having to use those healing items as, um, you know, as little as possible. And a team like this is going to be able to do that. Um, you know, you'll see even when they do take damage, they are quickly able to heal back up. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's I, I think I've said it, you know, several times, but they literally make the perfect raid team. Um, you know, we're seeing here, we will finish up this node and they were able to handle a boss node and they will be able to continue handling um, these boss nodes. They're going to be able to handle boss nodes in Ultima 7. I mean, mind you, my current team is not strong enough for Ultima 7. Um, however, they are quickly approaching um, that ability and you know especially once symbiote spider-man is unlocked it'll make this team even better just because full symbiotes um, everyone on the team would then benefit from speed up where um, you know captain marvel or emma frost depending on who you're taking in does not benefit um, as much from those speed ups but uh yeah still i mean perfect perfect raid team um we had no deaths um, we didn't even have to make use of anti-venoms, um, res capabilities, and uh, yeah, so we'll just finish up these last four enemies. Um, at this point, I'm going to start saving my um, specials and ultimates for essentially the next uh, node, and then we will just wrap up the video. Um, I will show how much damage I was able to do in these four attacks. Um, I still still have one attack left, and um, I will do that, but we are quickly nearing our uh, time as far as uh, if I want to upload this to YouTube, I have to make it under 15 minutes. <laughs> So uh, we will finish this little note real fast. I will show the damage I've done thus far. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about symbiotes, please feel free to let me know. Um, any future content you'd like to see, let me know either on Discord at Khaleesi, in-game, mini-call, Jakaris, or Khaleesi. Um, certainly hope you have found this video helpful. Hopefully, you know, if anyone is on the fence, this has maybe convinced you to look into building that symbiote team up. And uh, if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. And we will just real quick um, show I am just in that couple quick little attacks. I am almost at 3 million damage. Um, so everyone, I think y'all should be building the symbiotes. Um, look for future videos. And again, I hope you found this helpful. Have a good one.